Hello there, dear viewers, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. And in this episode, we're having a look at AUM 1.4. This is an awesome update that brings a lot of new stuff to AUM. And in this particular episode of Hack Attack, we'll be looking at node upgrades. <laughs> What do I mean with nodes? Well, I'm talking about the insert effect slots and also the instrument slots. So one thing that is completely new is a menu. A menu that you can find if you long press on any of these slots. So if I long press here on VHS synth, I'll get this little menu. And here we can do two things, select and we can replace. Now, if we press replace, we get this list where we can actually switch out whatever is already loaded in here. Before the update, we couldn't do this because you actually had to unload whatever was already in the slot in order to load something new. So it's really nice to have this new feature here. Now we're gonna close this down and long press again. And this time we're gonna choose select. And you can see there was a little blue ring there. This means that we've now selected this plugin. So what can we do with it? Well, we can go over here where we have another instant of VHS synth and long press. And here we get the options of select, replace and swap. And if we press swap, it's gonna swap the two. And this is such a nice feature. Now this VHS synth plugin is still selected until you select something else. And so while it's selected, let's say we wanted to copy it. Well, we can do that by long pressing on an empty slot and press copy here. And voila, there you go. We can also create a new channel and we can long press here and press move here and it will just simply move there. This is such a nice new update. And you have this option also for the insert effect slot. Long press, press select to make sure it's really selected. Long press here, press copy. Long press here, press move. Long press here to swap. Really, really nice. Now, when I long pressed on the insert effect slot, we also saw something more. So let's open that up again by long pressing. And here we can see that we have post fader and pre fader. And I think it's neat that it's all in here. Okay, so online there's a lot of people who are becoming more aware over the fact that some plugins or AUV3s can be quite heavy on resources, hogging resources from your system, while others aren't that heavy. And it's been a guessing game for a long time. However, now it's no longer a guessing game because you, Natalie Ledal, has upgraded AUM with some proper node statistics. If we go up here to where it says DSP with the battery indicator and press that, we can go into node statistics. And this thing will show us exactly how much of the resources are being taken up by the different plugins and processes and stuff that we're using inside AUM. This way, you don't have to guess about how resource heavy a plugin is or another. You just simply look in this list. And if you look up here, we have a menu. And if we go to init load, we can see the load time for the different plugins. Now, there is another awesome thing I want to show you because you can actually see the DSP load of an individual plugin without even going into this list. But first, I'm going to scroll down here and show you this. This shows you the DSP core distribution. You see, I'm using an iPad Pro 2018 11-inch model. I think it's called A1980. Well, recently I made a video about me wanting developers, especially DAW developers, to jump on the multi-core tasking thing so that more apps can start utilizing all of the cores we have in our CPUs, in our very powerful iPads. Because as it is right now, only up to two of them are being used. And you can clearly see that here now. Probably one for audio and one for graphics or something like that. All right, so that cool thing I wanted to show you is you can see the DSP load of a plugin by dragging them to the right. And right there you can see 5.1%. That's the DSP load for that particular plugin. We can do the same thing up here. And so you don't really have to go into the list, but the list gives you really good overview of everything and how much it takes up in your project. 
And for this, I'm gonna open up VHS Synth and choose one of my presets here. And then we're gonna make a new node by double tapping on the line, open this up, go into Filter and EQ and choose LPHP Filter. There's one more cool thing. If we tap at the top here of a level fader where it says dB, we can now put in a numerical value for what we want that fader to be. So if we wanted it to be minus four decibels, we just put that in, press set, and there you go, it's set. And that's pretty much it for this video. Now there will be another AUM 1.4 video from me, but it will be all about MIDI because there's been some upgrades there too. And so before I leave, a little sneak peek. Press up here to get to the matrix, press this thing and you can hide the names. Thank you so much for watching. And before you leave, if you like this type of content, if you if you like me, if you if you love me, just give me a like, all right? Just press the like thing because that YouTube. If you want to support me in a financial way, then check out my music first, full list of links down below. And if you don't want to do that, Patreon or PayPal. Yeah, that's pretty much it. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger, really like finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Mm -hmm.